Ladies, they're all so hungry. Dewormer day. They get a little extra something in their food and looks like Miss Jewel got some sunflower seeds too. What say you, Louie? How you keep up with all these ladies? All right, here we go. Spend most of my day today uh, cleaning up from the uh, chicken butchering yesterday. Also, cleaning up the area where we'll put the round bale for the goats and Miss Jewel and spreading it out, which helps create a cleaner environment for all of them. Make sure our round bale, the new one, the new round bale doesn't get nasty. And they're a little bit nervous about Mr. Linus. This might be a bad idea, but I let Jewel and most of these goats out. Maybe they'll mow the lawn for me. And if they get out of control, I just grab a feed bucket and they'll all come running back. But the beautiful thing is they are herd animals, so they'll stay together. And so long as they stay in the front yard, they'll be safe. So long as this beast doesn't find my hay bales, we should be okay. But I want them to have as much green stuff as possible especially before the winter comes and there's no green to be had. Mr. Linus, that goat herding has come in handy. He's doing a great job. <laughs> yes. Look at him go. Great job, Linus. Now my jewel on the other hand, a little bit more difficult to contain. She is currently destroying what's left of a round bale. <laughs> With hay stuck on her head. But she's pregnant, so we're just gonna let her eat. And look at Mr. Linus. He's a little intimidating by her. That's okay though, I'd much rather her tear this up than what's on the back of that trailer. Hey, what? I said you're crazy. I no. look out my window and there's like 40 goats and a cow. They're grazing. They're no, you're crazy. No, no, they're grazing. No, you're crazy. They, oh, well, they they were mowing the lawn for me. We don't have a lawn. Well, yeah, they they thought so. Apparently, you done lost your mind, good looking. Nah, we're just working out here. Miss Jewel, she, she's still out. Yeah. Jewel, what are you doing? I don't have food. So I built this beautiful little garden area. Is that really what you were going to garden? You're trying to grow cows? It's working, apparently. Linus, hey, you just said you're alone. So not long ago, I let Jewel out. She was rolling a, a round piece of a round bale, kind of like this. She just <laughs> kicking it around like a soccer ball, which was a mess for us to deal with. But the beautiful thing is it's full of grass seed. So we already have, as we're cleaning up this mess, grass growing. It's a beautiful thing, the circle of life. Ooh, oh, it got me. Sorry. Love this life. Sorry. Minus the hay down your shirt. Thanks, Josh. I'm trying not to. Liar. Oh yeah. Let's do it, man. I think that's all we're gonna carry. So we're gonna take this. Bunch of spent hay, it's wet. And 
not usable for food. And we're gonna go dump it where we want grass to grow. Uh, our animals will stomp it into the ground and hopefully come springtime, it'll grow us some grass. We'll see. Stick around till springtime and you can find out for yourself. Okay. Tool. Dump that. All right. So all of this grass that's here now was not here before we put pigs here. Hopefully, this will help the situation. Install some seeds. Deposit seeds in the seed bank. We're going to take our spent hay and out of an environment that is nasty for one group of animals and put it in another area that will actually make it much nicer. So we've all heard the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is our spent goat hay. and cow hay full of manure I'm sure which is really gross and bad for them but this is where we've been keeping Frida and her babies um, we typically let them roam in the woods but for safety of the piglets we've kept them in this small area uh, they do have a yard with an electric fence but unfortunately the more time they spend here the nastier it gets and we don't want them to live like this, so we're gonna take our spent hay and put it on the ground and make a much nicer environment for these ladies and gentlemen. So pigs eat anything, right? I told you this is hay full of cow droppings and goat droppings and she's eating it. But one thing she won't eat is celery. She has licked this bowl clean. And I'll be honest with you, there was some pretty nasty stuff in here. We butchered chickens yesterday, so you could only imagine what went in this bowl. She will not eat celery. Or potatoes. And all the babies are enjoying it too. Mama's eating it. They're having a blast. Good job, Linus. I got some great footage of Linus herding all these goats right back into the fence. He did a great job. One of my favorite parts about being a homesteader, prepper, farmer, whatever you want to call it, is the, uh, the community. This is not my chipper shredder. This is not even my trailer. Heck, that's not even my horse trailer. That is my boat. <coughs> but uh, 
We share and share alike. We share labor, we share materials, we share knowledge. It sure does come in handy not having to do this by myself and not having to learn all this by myself. And you get to pet 400 pound pigs. It doesn't get much better than that. What a good mama. Waste hay into pig paradise. Look how happy he is. Loving it, loving it. And I figured we could use this as compost, but why? Because he's going to turn it into compost for us, and he's going to deposit grass seed into the seed bank. Thanks for all your hard work, Boris. In the near future, we'll take him away from this paddock and give him a brand new one and we'll let this grass have some time to grow. Beautiful. Great job, Boris. You're the man. Pig. You're the man, pig. Unfortunately, our efforts to fix our dishwasher did not work. So we are at Lowe's buying a new dishwasher. Oh, I believe this is what we're gonna get. Um, it has extra drying power, extra spinny things. I'm not real technical, but they're on sale. I need a dishwasher and I need it today. So we're buying a dishwasher. I'm not sure how I got so lucky. I got to stay in the truck while all these guys got to go to Walmart. We just spent $430 on a dishwasher and it was on sale. The price we pay for clean dishes. We get a uh, surprise trip to Shreveport. One of our friends, a uh, young boy, rides bulls and he got hurt last night. Uh, he's in. Uh, in the hospital I think he's going to be just fine but mama's there with him and she doesn't have a ride anywhere and I'm thinking she wants some clean clothes and maybe some food so we're gonna go to Shreveport which adds about two and a half hours to our day and we'll go home and install a dishwasher if you saw our video from yesterday I already fixed the dishwasher, but that didn't fix it. I think there was something even goofier, like a computer problem, and it is under warranty, but you end up spending more money, or the same amount of money to fulfill your warranty on a bottom of the line dishwasher than if we just buy a new dishwasher, so. Here it goes. You bought what? I bought a giant thing of cheese food. See this word right here? Gluten free. Which means buy them for mom. Which means buy them for yourself when you are the mom. Perfect. Because we're going to be very nice humans and drive to Shreveport and take my friend some pajama pants. Because her little boy got hurt in a bull riding accident last night. And we need snacks for an hour long drive. So 
I buy cheesy poops. They were already on the checkout when I got here. It was like someone left them just like for me. Divine intervention. Right. You're so cheesy. The cheesiest. <laughs> bye. 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 Ten seconds later. found gnomes. And a couple of crazy frogs. The maze, a pallet maze. We're at Ellis Home and Garden in Longview, Texas at the Pumpkin Glow. We're enjoying some uh, fall festive Halloween-ish bounce house. Eat some potato chips and a hot dog kind of thing. Lots of pumpkins and gourds and people attempting to take pictures of their children and it's not working out very well for them, which is humorous for the rest of us. The pallet maze, don't get lost. I lost my beautiful wife. She's lost in the pallet maze. It's only because I can't see over the tops of them. <laughs> all the beauty that's going on here. I told you the wife was infatuated with pumpkins, right? Hence the attack of the killer pumpkins. This is why we do these things. That one looks like Texas. Isn't that beautiful? There's a long one over there for you sports fans. Okay, so just for the record, we're at Ellis Pottery, not Ellis Home and Garden. I was wrong, and she was right. But anyways, they have a pretty cool uh, pumpkin glow happening here. I think it's over tonight, so you missed it. But lucky for you, I filmed a little bit of it for you, and you get to look at it and live vicariously through us. It's my favorite kind of thing, isn't it? Going to these things that are festive and free shoot that he likes to drag his cute wife to because secretly he likes the smile on my face so he takes me where all the pumpkins are mm -hmm. and then he talks like this thanks, the whole pumpkin. time we're here thanks pumpkin anyways there's the place ellis pottery enjoy <laughs>